I've got something new and exciting to show you guys. This right here is the grip module from Mischief Machine. This is their macro grip module. So basically you have a macro magazine, full size grip, and you have it going all the way to the end of that P365 XL slide. You, got, you have a nice long dust cover with a Picatinny rail. So I've mounted my TLR7 sub light on this thing and of course i ended up buying a brand new p365 xl because i keep wanting to test all these new uh pieces of equipment coming out new accessories and stuff so instead of constantly flipping my modules around and you know replacing the mag releases and all that stuff i decided just to buy a whole new gun and start fresh so no optics are mounted on this guy yet but i really really like this let's do a quick 10 rounds and then let's talk about some of the features of this grip module right here All right, so one thing that's extremely impressive with this grip module are the grip panels. And that's one thing that Mischief Machine has done an excellent job. They have their older Omega grip module for the 365 XL, and this is actually a really big upgrade. Pretty slim, and they're replaceable. And what's cool about this guy is you actually have an interchangeable back strap right here. And one thing, and I didn't notice this, but when I talked to the fellas over at Mischief Machine, they said, this actually has a fish hook style texture to it. So you can slide your hand up the grip, but once you get a good grip on this, it locks it in. So those tiny little hooks, this texturing is kind of like a shark fin, and that's pretty cool. It really helps get a good purchase on the gun. You're not milking the grip, trying to find a, a comfortable spot to keep your thumb. You have a lot more purchase on the grip. You got a place to rest that forward thumb, and then you can mount more options. So you have, uh, I love this TLR7 sub. This is one light that I keep switching between all my different guns. I also have a holster. It's a DeVito's holster that Mischief Machine also sent with one of their original Omega grip modules. I use that DeVito's holster for everything and it actually works really well as long as you have that TLR7 sub. The holster is built for this light. So I've actually put that on my Icarus grip modules. I've also put it on all my Mischief Machine grip modules and even the Icarus with those aggressive ledges on the side, it still grabs it really well. So overall, there are holster options out here. I would just recommend you get one with a light so then you can use your old P365 or your newer P365 grip modules with the same holster. You don't have to keep upgrading. So the one I use is DeVito's holsters. That's one of the biggest questions I get. What holster do I use for these guys? So very effective holster, works well inside the waistband and they have a couple other options out there and you can actually get them right from the Mischief Machine website. They have those DeVito's holsters in stock. If not, you can always ask them, shoot them an email and then they can help you find a holster that'll fit with it. All right, 17 rounds this time. Let's chew. This grip module feels amazing. Man, it sticks to your head. If you notice, no milking, I'm not shifting my grip or anything. That's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and quiet things down a little bit. This is the Rugged Obsidian 45 suppressor. Just for future YouTube uh, pain in the buttery, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this thing off camera. I can explain what I'm doing. I'm threading it on. And um, that's actually what got me a couple channel strikes is by doing this on camera. Now, YouTube says that you can now do that. My problem is if I start showing something like that in my future videos, and they decide to do another rule change and then delete all my videos and give me a couple more strikes. I'd rather just avoid that in the future. I want my channel to be around. So I now have a suppressor magically attached to my 365 XL. This is the Faxon barrel and a standard 365 XL slide with the new Mischief Machine grip module. So again, this is the macro module. Uh, I love shooting suppressed. Here's a little better look. I took the TLR7 off, took the suppressor off. Now we just have the gun in its relatively standard configuration minus this sexy gold fax and barrel. Since it is a macro module, you have a longer grip. That means you can hold those macro 17 round mags inside this thing. But 
in case you're not a big fan of the built-in compensator for the macro, you can go ahead and stick an XL slide on this guy and then you can do whatever you want. You can still add a compensator to the end of it, like the PMM comp system. It's awesome, it's a great compensator. Or you can just keep it threaded, keep a standard barrel on there if you don't like any kind of muzzle accessories whatsoever. Or you can put the suppressor on. Comfortable grip module, it shoots very well. You get a good purchase on that grip. They do a really good job with the styling, the back strap right here, though it's not an extreme beaver tail, this part right here does not cut into the small of your hand. Like that, I don't even know if that's, know if that's the right term. I keep using it though, small of your hand. Um, on these grip, panels on these grip panels right here they're positioned perfectly i keep my thumb rested like that there is a cutout there is a cutout over here that you can use um i don't that cutout kind of lines up with the magazine release though though i kind of finding myself if i need to release the mag i kind of flip the gun a little bit and rotate or i just hit it with my middle finger right here and drop the mag so i usually keep my main hand right here sitting on top and of course my support hand so it's right under my thumb right there, and then I have a lot of space to rest it on that dust cover. Real quick, loading up some of these mags, pretty easy. This is the ETS cam speed loader. So what you do is you take your mag right here and then you insert it right into the speed loader like this. And then you take your ammo box and you just scoop up a row of rounds like so. And you take this guy, put it here, and that's it. I just loaded up 10 rounds, that easy. Keep doing that for however big your mags are. No more mag thumb. Thank you, ETS. So the nice thing is, you don't actually have to handle the ammunition. You take it right out of the box, scoop it up with the speed loader. And this is a brand new speed loader. These work even better when you oil them. And the more you use them, the more they loosen up. The tolerances kind of open up a little bit. Makes it really nice. So anyways, let's get back to shooting. It's a comfortable gun, a well thought out grip module. The styling's great, it's sleek, it's not aggressive, it's not um, space agey, but it kind of pays homage to um, like the P226 style look. It's almost like a little 1911 style look. Um, not a super aggressive grip angle either, but you have a nice cutout under here for your finger. You can see it's cut into the actual grip right here, then under the trigger, so your undercut. It's a good length. You just get a great feel. Overall, Mischief Machine did knock this one out of the park as usual. I have yet to shoot something from Mischief Machine that has failed me. So um, that's the nice thing with these grip modules. It leaves these companies up with a lot of options to do cool things with these things. So thank you all so much. I hope you all like this video. Go ahead and check out Mischief Machine. I'll leave all the information on these grip modules on this video. So hopefully somewhere I told you guys what the price is because while I'm filming and shooting this right now, I don't know what the price is. Hopefully I did my due diligence and put that information on the video before I edited that information. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time.